don't have purgatory anymore. What is this? We don't have mortal sin. We don't have purgatory. <laughs> Putting on lipstick in my class? <laughs> Are you putting on lipstick in my class? Give it to me. <laughs> what, honey? <laughs> and we would put our little pennies or nickels or dimes, whatever we had, in the little white mission bank with the red cross that said Society for the Propagation of the Faith. Remember that? That's right. And when your class collected $5, Sister would take the five dollars, send it to some third world country, and she would buy a pagan baby. Now what that meant was the missionary priest in the village of the third world country would choose a baby from, from among the newly born heathen babies, baptize the little baby as a Catholic, give it the little Anglo name that you sent down there, like Peter or John or Mary, right? And then they would raise the baby on the five dollars. You see? <laughs> I often wonder what happened to my pagan babies. You know what I'm saying? I think they were pretty angry, though. Here they are, you know, living in this third world. Did I just see you put gum in your mouth? <laughs> Listen to me. I see you pointing at your neighbor. So this is how Jeffrey's pointing to his neighbor. <laughs> well, Catholic guilt, we were talking about that Catholic guilt, huh? Remember that? Who knows what Catholic guilt is? Oh, you're driving along, okay? Driving along the street in your car, you hear a siren, and right away you go, What do I do? <laughs> okay, so I, I, I'm going to try to fill you in on some of those stories. Things that happened in the schools, things that might have happened to you if you'd been there. <coughs> Let me tell you a little bit about myself, my background. When I first started teaching, oh, it was a wonderful time to be a nun. It was the baby boom, and I'm telling you, the first day that I walked into that second grade class at St. Catherine of Siena, it was 52 children and me. And every one of those little kids knew in their hearts that they were better than the kids that went to the public schools. <laughs> So they didn't have to attend the inferior schools. The only kids that went to those schools were wild kids, whose parents didn't really care about them. <laughs> we had the Holy Name Society, the Altar Guild, the Knights of Columbus. Oh, and no more of those raffles. I'll tell you, if it wasn't nailed down, we raffled it, huh? <laughs> I'll never forget the time that Mrs. Kelly, our school secretary, won the $25,000 grand prize. Oh, she was so excited. She called her husband on the phone. She said, Jack, Jack, pack your bags. I just won the grand prize. He said, oh, Mary, honey, what should I pack? Summer clothes or winter clothes? She said, I don't care. Just be going by the time I get home. <laughs> you see this, class? One of my favorite prizes. Do you see it? You see this? Beautiful. It's called the Soldier of Christ keychain. You see? Beautiful. On the front, Claire, it's a beautiful antique brass-like finish. <laughs> Jesus on the front. On the back, in really little letters, it says, God protects. And I tell you, Claire, if God is really busy that day, it has this little knife in it. <laughs> Just a little knife. Now, Mary's Immaculate Conception is a holy day of obligation. When do we celebrate it? 
Church. Where do we have to go? Church. Where do we go if we don't go there? Hell. Pretty come try, I'd say, huh? <laughs> Three more latecomers, we got ourselves a pagan baby, huh? You know that commercial on TV where the woman has the brand new white wall-to-wall -wall carpeting installed in her house? Who would do that, white? <laughs> First night she has the new carpeting, she has a big party. All of her friends are there. One of her drunken friends fills a big glass of red wine on the carpet. You see that commercial, didn't you? Yeah. Slow, slow motion. Splashes. Even though I know it's a commercial, I go, I wince because you know that carpet's ruined no matter what. Class, that is what it looks like when that sin lands on your soul. <laughs> but I'm slightly stained. <laughs> now, there's some new sins, new sins in the new catechism of the Catholic Church that, as Catholics, you should all know. For example, class, it is a mortal sin to cheat on your income tax. <laughs> it is a mortal sin to bounce a check over $1,000. <laughs> All right. Is it true when you become a nun that they shave your head, that's why you wear those hats? No. And I'm going to let you in on a big secret that probably not very many people know. All women who join religious orders are bald from birth. <laughs> that's why they join the convent. <laughs> to cover their heads, do you see? And you know what? We don't have any ears either. 